And on to the economy, we have first quarter GDP coming in at 5.6%. That is way below expectations. And that's the slowest print recorded in 16 quarters or exactly four years. Social Economic Secretary Ernie Pernia says delays in the passage of the 2019 budget is the culprit. But first, to help us parse through these numbers, we have Leo Uy, Head of Research at Business World. Hi, Leo. What dragged down first quarter GDP? Um, is it really just the budget or are there other factors? Right. So first off, I'll just want to emphasize the supply sector of the economy. So if you look at the data, it's actually services that's the mainstay um, performer of the sector, which means that regardless of whether the economy performs well or not, services is still going to be there performing well. Unfortunately, the same couldn't be said of industry and agriculture. Um, what I'd like to emphasize here is um, the, the industry sector, which if you look at the first quarter of 2018, it contributed 2.6 percentage points of, to growth. Now it's just 1.5 percentage points. Um, looking at the subsectors in industry, uh, we, we also see um, uh, declines in the contributions of manufacturing and construction. Uh, so, for cons so for manufacturing, uh, it contributed 1.1 percentage points uh, for this quarter as compared to last year's 1.8 percentage points. Um, on the other hand, for construction, uh, it contributed just 0.2 percentage points as compared to 0.6 last year. Um, unfortunately, um, agriculture remains to be a laggard here as it contributed just less than a tenth of a percentage point. Okay, so um, if we take a look at government spending, it actually rose some 7.4% despite the reenacted budget and the budget delays. Uh, that actually bucked expectation that the numbers w would be further, I mean, lower, a lot lower than what they really are. So can you help give us some clarity on this issue? Right. Right, so even though uh, government spending rose by 7.4%, uh, Compared to the first quarter of 2018, it grew by 13.6%. So it's actually um, disappointing in the, uh, in the sense that, relatively speaking, um, the 7.4% in government spending is lower. Um, so that's the growth part. Uh, if you look at the contributions to GDP, uh, we can see here that um, it contributed just 0.8 percentage points. So of that 5.6% GDP growth, um, government spending accounted for 0.8 of that um, as compared to um, in the first quarter of 2018 which you have a 1.4 percentage point contribution. So yes, um, um, the delay in the budget actually did um, influence um, the decline or the slowdown in the economic growth. Right. Having said that, Leo, you know, Socioeconomic Planning Secretary mm -hmm. Ernie Pernia said that we could have hit 6.6% GDP growth in the first quarter had we not been operating on a reenacted budget. What do you think about that? Could that be possible? Yeah, yeah I would actually agree um, because uh, it's not just government spending that's going to be affected. There are other sectors there that's going to be affected there as well. So you have expectations of investments and um, business um, decisions going around. So, um, without uh, it should, if the budget were to have been passed earlier, then yes, it could have reached 6.6 percent. Um, I'd also like to emphasize that uh, the 5.6 percent growth is the first, um, is the lowest in 16 quarters, and it broke actually the 16 quarter streak of having at least 6.6 percent growth. So yeah, it's it's a big deal for uh, for this. Yeah, I do not remember the last time we had below 6% growth. Thank you very much for your insights. That was Leo Uy, Head of Research at Business World.